Hey guys, welcome to Quick Sell Buyers. Today we're going to be go over why is my house not selling? If you are got your house on the market or you're trying to sell it yourself, these are the major reasons why people's houses don't sell. Number one, your house is overpriced. I know, you don't think it is because you know you put a fan in your master bedroom 10 years ago that was really nice and it costed you $300 but your house is still overpriced. It's the number one reason your house is not selling. The price isn't right. Number two, condition. You think your house is updated because you updated it five years ago, but everybody now and their mama is watching Home TV Network and they want an open floor plan, they want granite countertops, they want taffetine in the bathroom. So if your condition does not match your competition, that's why your house isn't selling, especially if you're trying to get the same price they are. Number three, location. People get this a lot. Maybe your house is in the subdivision and it has the same condition and it is priced right, but yours is on the busy street on the corner and you hear a bunch of traffic or your neighbor next door uh, is like Dukes of Hazards, has like a bunch of broken down cars in his driveway it's not gonna help you sell your house location 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 three most important things in real estate number four your floor plan okay maybe you are the one that watches home TV network and you wanted to redo your floor plan so you knock down walls without an architect and now your floor plan is funky you know that's gonna be a major reason why your house isn't selling if your floor plan does not flow right, it feels weird, you know, you walk into the bathroom from the front door, your house is not going to sell, okay? Um, if you converted the garage, it's going to take longer to sell, okay? That's not the way that house was designed. Or if you do an addition onto the back, okay? An addition in a converted garage, generally a good rule of thumb is that it's going to add half the value and it's going to take away from your original square footage, okay? in value. So say if your original square footage value is $90 a square foot, if it was just everything was original, you're probably going to knock it down to 85 and then you're going to add the extra converted. It hurts your original square footage. Why? Because it doesn't have a garage anymore. Okay. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much. If you have a question, leave it below. Like the content information that we just provided want to hear more about it join us on Facebook by liking our page subscribe to our channel on YouTube and you can get more videos just like this if you have a question something you wanted answered something that's not clear leave it in the link below and we'll answer you as soon as possible maybe even make a video about it thank you guys so much and God bless